In this video, I'm talking to some more WP Eagle viewers about creating content for affiliate marketing websites. So in this video, I asked them about how they actually go about creating their content from a kind of physical location point of view. So I asked them about whether they listen to music while creating content, whether that's helpful or not. We talk about where to sit while writing, whether you should have a TV on, and basically all that kind of stuff uh, and any other kind of rituals that they go through to help get them in the zone and help them create some really good content. So I think you're gonna find this really interesting. Uh, and obviously what works for some people doesn't always work for others. So you've gotta take what they say with a pinch of salt and apply it to you and what works best for you. Now this video is part of a series of videos that I've put together where I've been talking to WP Eagle viewers. You'll find all the videos in a playlist and the link to that playlist will appear up there right now and you'll also find a link in the description. Anyway, I think that's enough intro. Just one last thing. If you're not already subscribed, why not do so right now? Just click that button below and make sure you click the bell to be notified. And if you like this video, please click the like button. It really does help me out. Anyway, let's go. Roll the tape. Uh, do you have any particular rituals or anything you do when you're writing? Do you put music on or is there a certain time of day you like to do your writing? Yeah, so I'm definitely a an afternoon and evening person. If you ask me to write something at six or seven in the morning, like some people do, then I would um, I, I wouldn't be at my best. So this <laughs> this sort of this time of day onwards, um, but really in the evening when I'm not disturbed, I can just sit down, get comfortable. Um, sometimes I might have the TV on in the background, and um, and I'll just I'll just launch into it really. I'll have an idea from earlier in the day what I want to write about. I think if, if I just sit down and have the, the computer on, then I often hit a brick wall. So yeah. I tend to, throughout the course of the day, I'm, the, it, you know, the cogs are churning away in the background, just thinking, what, what else could I write about? How am I going to approach this? Um, and it's a bit easier for me to do that because I'm not working at the moment. I'm at home. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so that that's a bit easier. So uh, I've, that's interesting because a couple of other people have said they they can't write in front of the TV. They find it really difficult to write in front <laughs> of the TV. And so, but then some people have said they like music. Some people have said they can't listen to any music. It's far too distracting. So I think everyone's got their own style, and you've just got to find what works for you. Um, that's right. Best we're, all, we're all different. Yeah, some people like to work at their desk, and others on the sofa. It, you know, it, it really depends on on you. But uh, that's interesting. Do you uh, have a, any particular time of day that you do your writing? Is it like a first thing in the morning or maybe late at night? Is there is there something that works for you in terms of time? Mm, basically, I don't really have any specific time. Just no. when it strikes, I'm just going to write. You're gonna when it strikes, I'm going to write. There's a that should be on a t-shirt or something that's got a ring to it. <laughs> Um, is there any particular time that you do your writing? Is it first thing in the morning kind of activity or is it a uh, late night, uh, up all night, burning the uh, the midnight oil or whatever, so typing like away? Two hours before a deadline, probably. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's, I'm not a morning person, um, but I, I do find just putting some headphones on, focusing in a non-internet setting. Well, if there's no research involved, I'll go away and focus in a in a in a non-internet yeah. setting and okay. just yeah. type. I've had, or had a couple of calls already today and that's been an, a tip that's come up a few times, the focus, the avoiding distractions, I guess, because if you're going to do research around an article, you can do all that first and you can get all that down and then you can close the browser down, get rid of the phone, put the headphones on and, and just focus because, yeah, a lot of people have said that if you get distracted by a notification on your phone or you check your email or whatever, then that's it, you can lose your thread and you'll never finish that article. It's... It's very important as well, ergonomically, how you work. Um, I, I find, you know, on a sofa, if you've got the TV on as a distraction, absolutely terrible. Just wipes you out completely. Yeah. Um, also, the the size of the keyboard or the an ergonomic keyboard can help. Uh, uh, for me personally, I I just find it just having a nice big keyboard. You're not poking around on a on a tiny little notebook and. Mm. And uh, so, yeah, just make that as comfortable as possible, especially if you're churning out hundreds of pages. You want to be able to make that process as nice as possible. Um, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's that's a good tip. Also, music as well, actually. Um, 
you know, do you, do you personally do you have any sort of music that you listen to? Well, I do, but a lot of the music I find if I'm going to work and especially on something like that, then I would try and go for something that doesn't have any lyrics. Um, yeah. So I don't know right, yeah. some some music without lyrics. Cafe Del Mar, or I don't know. So not too relaxing, though, because I don't want to be drifting off. So fall asleep. Yeah, that's that's you've got to find some productive music because I find that lyrics will be distracting when I'm trying to write. Yeah. Um. Yes, yeah, some great tips there. That, that's really useful. Thank you. I just wanted to ask you: Is there a particular um, process in term? And this combined with another question, actually, like a time of day that you um, decide to write any kind of rituals or anything that you do to get you in the zone for writing? Is there, is there any anything you do on that front? Or do you just write, sometimes you feel inspired and you just start writing? Um, it can be any time of day. Um, it's mostly uh, dictated by uh, what I've got on from my real job, <laughs> um, uh, which my mother, uh, if she was still here, she would not uh, regard as a real job. It's, I mean, for her, it was uh, being an accountant or a doctor or whatever. Yeah. Work Have on a boss radio, and wear a suit. Yeah, yeah. So uh, um, I, I write uh, when I'm not doing uh, my daytime job. However, uh, at the moment we're all in lockdown, so I've had uh, quite a bit of time. So um, I, I, I can write during the day. Uh, so. Because I have a full-time job, so to speak, um, even though the website is part of the business, um, because I have a full-time job, I tend to write a lot at night. Uh, I mean, I'm a bit of a night owl anyway, so uh, three in the morning is – I'm not a stranger to three in the morning it's at all. Burning so, the, uh, so, the midnight oil and – yeah, just – Yeah, uh, so, so um, I, I find that um, uh, I do write um, quite a bit – in the evening after tea. Um, tea is, I don't know, down in England. I mean, it'll be dinner. We, call it, it? we might call it dinner, yeah, it depends. Yeah. If uh, it was so, a light, light um, supper, then it might be called a tea. Um, yeah. The, the so, Americans have got no idea what we're talking about. I don't know, what, what do they have in the evening? <laughs> but anyway, so uh, <laughs> after, after our evening meal, um, <laughs> I, I'll uh, sit down and uh, I'll do some research i'll uh, uh, i'll write stuff uh, i'll write my article um i tend to take much longer than uh, the ricky and jim uh, suggest so they they will knock off a response post in an hour uh, they say an hour or two um i take a little bit longer than that uh, but um um the research is important i i i i look online uh, what other people are saying i look at videos watch videos go onto forums uh, and uh, collect all that research uh, my own knowledge um and then i'll uh, i'll start writing usually it's uh, later at night uh, and i do the same thing for my my videos um i usually uh, probably because of my my background uh, of uh, making uh, radio and tv commercials you have a script so uh, when i do videos i have a script i put uh, the script onto my ipad my teleprompter it's wow. um, very but, organized uh, i've never scripted a video in my life you could pro you probably tell that but yeah uh, well, if, if, if you get your camera far enough away, you can put your uh, script onto your iPad, have the iPad just under the lens, and because you're far enough away, you, the viewer can't see the parallax difference between yeah. you looking into the middle of the lens or looking slightly uh, below the lens or, yeah. or above. Uh, but uh, uh, that's the way I, I, I do those. But, yeah, I, I, I can write at any time of day. Do I have a ritual? Um, do you put your headphones on any music or anything like that i can't i can't i when i when i was um a teenager and a student um uh i would have music on i i, I couldn't work unless i had music playing uh these days don't silence. put anything on i want silence the only only time that i can have um uh, music on is if I'm doing something quite repetitive in editing videos or photos yeah, or doesn't or require whatever. much thinking. And, yeah. And, yeah, and it's it's just a process that you're you're doing all the time, and it's very very uh, kind of mechanical. Uh, so I can then listen to music, but if I'm writing uh, or, or anything creative yeah, or yeah. whatever, yeah, I I cannot have music playing in the background because it's just so distracting for me. Yeah. I mean, well, I, I I just listen to the noises in my head, which uh, uh, after 
30, 40 years of working in radio stations and stuff, um, the tinnitus is very nice. <laughs> yeah. So that brings us to the end of this video. Hope you found it useful. I'd love to know how you get in the zone for your writing. Do you put headphones on? Do you sit on the sofa? Do you go out into the garden? Let me know in the comments. I read all the comments that I get and I'll try to reply to as many as I possibly can. If you're not already subscribed, you can do so by clicking on my face. Want to check out my vlog channel, click on my other face. And here are a couple more videos. They've been chosen specially for you. Until next time, bye for now.